So here is the town of Kusatsu. You are here. Yubatake, that is the hot spring waterfall thing. Now here is something on the map that I'm going to walk to. I am there, the blue dot, see the red pin, and it says 377-1711. I have no idea what is there. If you saw my last video, then I uh, took a bus from Tokyo to Kusatsu here. And then I was trying to find the uh, hotel that I had booked on my phone and it wasn't coming up by the name, but then it came up as this number. And so I get off at the uh, bus station there and I am debating whether or not to go ahead and walk up there or take a taxi that is sitting right there. Fortunately, I went ahead with the taxi and they then took me to my uh, hotel, which was just five minutes down the road from the uh, Yubataki thing there. If I had tried to find this place, it would have been a very frustrating experience of walking with my big backpack a mile up there somewhere and then finding whatever we're going to find now, which isn't going to be my hotel. <laughs> Anyways, just as a mission, I figured, let's go see what's there. And I didn't bring my swimsuit, but I do have underwear. I also don't have a towel. Yeah, it looks like this guy is drying off, so maybe uh, up there is the big outdoor pool that I'd seen on Booking.com when I was booking my hotel. Okay, let's see how hot this water is. It's actually not very hot here. It's cooled down, obviously, since uh, the source. What an amazing place. It's nice when a place is a surprise. I hadn't seen pictures of all this. I might have looked at images on Google, like, really quickly, but uh, I didn't know that there was going to be this much stuff to experience here. And then with the fall colors. Just gorgeous. So I'm wondering if maybe the uh, big pool is up there. So this is the Sino Kawara Park walking trail, town center, one kilometer. And the Sino Kawara Onsen, just 20 meters up this way. Okay. It looks like these people are coming out of the water. I probably should have known to have left my room with a swimsuit and a towel. No people, no men, no dogs. So that is very kind of lukewarm. That's the kind of temperature that uh, you come out like not really feeling fully warmed up. Open air bath, dressing room, do not take photographs, do not use mobile phones and cameras. Understandable. But I think that I will pass on that partly because of the temperature. So the one at my hotel is very hot. It is probably like 106, 107 Fahrenheit. I will put that in uh, Celsius below here. 
but uh, 37.5 it was only like 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Your typical hot tub is like 104, which is 40 Celsius. I'm sure it's nice and a good experience. I can see the uh, steam coming up there. But uh, for one thing, I think that I'll just continue on the mission of trying to find that spot, which I think I've gotten a little off uh, route maybe, but taking a different route or something. We'll see, but obviously it's going to be like up on the mountain. Okay, so now what's this way? Tunino Sumuba. 150 meters. Man, those colors are just fantastic. Loving the fall experience. Wow, what a nature lover's wonderland. Onino Sumoba. So once I find the spot, if I'm able to actually get right there, I'll tell you what it is, because I know what I was being directed to. Getting closer, about nine minutes away. We want to go up here, and then it's going to be over there. Okay, there we go, folks. Mission accomplished. You can see the blue dot is right on the red pin here at 377-1711. So where am I? In a vacant lot. Not completely in the middle of nowhere because there is that building there. A ski resort. So if I had uh, tried to follow those directions yesterday from the bus station with my backpack, I would have gotten here and been like, oh great. Well, it was a nice walk at least, but uh, at the end of a long day of traveling, I wouldn't have been so happy about it. So, what that was indicating is the postal code. That number is just the postal code for the town. So what had happened is that I had entered in the name of the place and then it somehow like found the postal code, I guess because I also included the name of the town. And then it said partial match on the Google Maps. And so then it showed the numbers. So I thought, okay, well maybe that's the address. And just that's a Japanese address is it's just some numbers. But instead, why it was right there is it was at the center of the like uh, district for the uh, postal code. So that's what that was. So that was a fun little adventure and totally worth it because it happened to go through like the coolest thing to see here. And then the ski resort. Let's go investigate further here. Tenguyama Rest House. Some kind of a ski lodge, it's huge. So today is November 1st. Come back in another month or two and there will be snow up here, I assume. Kusatsu Onsen Ski Resort. That is a good sign when you see the words hot springs and ski resort in the same sentence. The town is called Kusatsu Onsen, so that is probably why it is listed like that. Probably not a hot spring like right here, but uh, they're certainly close by. So it looks like a kid's downhill race or something. Mommy. 
some sort of a game here. What is this? Miniature golf, I think. No? Yep, looks like it. Cool. This is one heck of a uh, fun area. So maybe it isn't golf. That person just uh, hit a big pink ball. It is different. You hit it along the grass. So you can get it in the air just a little bit, it kind of bounces, but uh, totally different from golf. Same concept, get it in the hole as quickly as you can. Right on, well what a uh, cool find, especially when I had no expectations. Tokyo, Naganohara, Onsen Town, Sino Kawara. That rhymes. It almost sounds like a haiku. Tokyo Naganohara, Kuni Onsen Town, Sino Kawara. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to make it a loop and walk down a different way over here. And a fun fact the town where my mom lives is called Ukiah. Ukiah is haiku backwards. So you could ride a palindrome starting with Ukiah and ending with haiku. Even better, a haiku palindrome using the words Ukiah and haiku. Not quite as interesting of a walk this way, going through regular neighborhoods. So there it says Kusatsu skiing area, Mount Shrain, Shiga Kugen, whatever that is, Bells Road, Otakanoyu, and Tropical Park. So there is a lot to see in this area, up in the mountains. A couple hours away is Nagano, where the Olympics happened in 1998, and I will likely head to Nagano next in two days. So, cold, drink, hot. Red for hot, blue for cold. Coffees, honey and lemon. That sounds really good, actually. Hot honey lemon something. And then probably teas, like a green tea. And a map. You are here. Wow. This really shows how much there is to see around here. So, whoa, Ugama Mount Kusatsu. I think that is what was mentioned. Hello. Excuse me? Oh, Gabriel Traveler. Gabriel Traveler. Yeah, Gabriel Traveler. Come again? Gabriel is uh, my name, G-A-B-R-I-E-L. G-A-B-R-I-E-L. R-I? Yep, E L L E just E L. Or, or e? go go back go back now. R I E I E E L L and then traveler. M M traveler. No 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 sorry. Uh, back up. No that's good. Now no, L L and then uh, space and then traveler. Traveler. Just okay. Traveler. Yeah, yeah. I'll follow, uh, subscribe your channel. Excellent. Where are you from? I'm from Nepal. Oh no shit. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from the United States. Well, you are. So how, Where, how long have you been here? Uh, I've been here in uh, Kusatsu for just one day, and I was in Tokyo for five days. Oh, uh, Where are you uh, staying here in Kusatsu? I don't remember the name. It's it's just right down in the middle of the the town there. Oh. Where in Nepal are you from? Kathmandu uh, or Pokhara? Pokhara. You know Pokhara? I've been to Pokhara. Oh, I've been to Nepal four times. Oh, I've done ABC oh, trek twice and Annapurna circuit, Langtang. Oh, oh Langtang. great. Mm. And you from? Oh, same. Beni, you know. Also Beni? from Pokhara. Beni, you know Beni? Beni? Baglung. Beni. No, is it like a small village or something? It's a two hours or? drive from the Pokhara. Ah, this must be a very yeah. uh, interesting area. Yeah. 
towards the Himalaya towards or the Himalaya, you know. You oh, know, you okay. Ben, Benny, Himalaya. this sounds. Uh, is it on the ABC track? No, that's uh, no that's different that, direction. Different direction. Yeah. I see. Okay. Hot spring water cool. Also. Sorry. Hot spring water also. Oh, okay, you have like hot springs okay, there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that sounds great. You are alone here. You came yes, alone? traveling solo. Oh, very good. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Have a good day. Yep. You too. And then that is another onsen there. Goes in Noyu. I need to look into that. Maybe that's a good one to go to because I definitely want to go to another one. And Otaken Noyu. So that looks like the one that I saw in the pictures when I was booking my accommodation. It looked really epic. I've got to look into that one for sure. Otaken Noyu. Okay. All right. Good tips. And then look at all this other stuff around here. Environmental experience amusement. Cornwall Lay. Shotoku Park, various onsens. There is a lot to see around here. And here we are back at the center of town. So I think that I'm going to uh, spend the rest of the day editing and relaxing. And then I have another day tomorrow. And I definitely want to uh, go to one of the other onsens. And so maybe I will do that either later today or tomorrow and maybe just have a relaxing day without filming. Also because you can't film inside of the onsens anyways. But I did show my onsen at my hotel in the last video, so there will be a link up here to that other video. So we'll see. Maybe more coming from Kusatsu. Otherwise, definitely more coming from Japan. See ya.